Hi everyone and welcome to So Fantastic with Siwa Avanti. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to draft the pattern for a dollman sleeve dress. So if this is something you're interested in learning, then come along with me and let's do this. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Alright, without wasting too much of our time, let's get right into the tutorial. So you can work in centimeters or inches if you want and i always look for the simplest and fastest way possible to draft patterns and that's why i came up with this method okay so if you make something using this method please we are very welcome to share the outcome with me and also what you think about this method for drafting doman styles start off by tracing your back bodies on fresh paper okay so make sure you have enough room for the arm extension ensure that the shoulder that has been cut out and the shoulder slant is the width that you want so i have reduced the width of this pattern to about four inches okay after tracing extend the shoulder point out or use your basic sleeve block with no elbow shaping okay so if you don't have your sleeve pattern what you can do is to measure from your neck point to your wrist and mark that along the line that you extended okay so you're going to need to cut out the waist that okay or transfer it to the you convert it to a bust that or something but because we're still going to be slashing the side panel i'd rather just cut it out it's before you shape into the side of your pattern remember to cut out the show the the waist that first okay just take note of that i forgot to do that here but when you are drafting yours please endeavor to do that so that the width of the waist will match that of the skirt okay so let's move on for me i went up by like three inches from the waist with the curved part of your ruler shape into the side side of the of your pattern this way next lower the neck depth for me i went down by 3.5 inches and then i bled back into the neck point also you need to lower the neck depth of the back because if you use it this way then it's going to be too high at the back so because i did not shape i didn't cut out the waist that before shaping the sleeve into the waist i'm going to mark the waist circumference divided by four on this pattern and also remember that you need to mark out about 0 0.5 inches or 0 0.75 inches to shape the back of your pattern to avoid any bulge okay you need to do this because you'll be sewing to a skirt it's always easier to have cut out this the waist that before shaping the doman sleeve into the side of your waist okay so what you just did right now is that you have drafted the front and the back bodies together so because we're going to need to work on the front i'm going i'm going to trace out the front pattern okay so also you can use a different colored uh, marker or a pen to differentiate between the one you want to trace and the one you want to leave so but because we're going to be okay but for the sake of this tutorial like i said before i'm tracing out the front pattern okay so after tracing out the the front bodies okay so then measure from the neck point to point d you can use your shoulder to bust point measurement for this okay or refer to the original pattern to get this measurement so also measure across from point d as shown on the screen or measure half of your bust point to bust point measurement that is your nipple to nipple measurement and also at the waist measure what you have from the center front to the first dart leg so you'll be using all these measurements to to create the middle panel for the sh on the shoulder slant you measure the width you want for the middle panel i'm using two inches here and then you measure your shoulder to 
bust point measurement or what you have on your pan on your pattern next you measure half of the bust point to bust point measurement or what you have when you measured across your pattern and for the lower part if you don't have your pattern then you remove like 1 or 1.5 from half of your bust point to bust point measurement and connect all the points as shown on the screen so cut out the middle panel if you'll be making this exact exact style notice that the sleeve hem has a cuff okay so and if you want it to have this cuff then you should have cut out the length of the curve before slashing so after you cut out the length you want for your curve for your curve also reduce the width of the curve so that it will be smaller than the width of the rest of the pattern and when you sew onto that on, it, when you sew together it will gather nicely around your arm okay and that way it's going to look like what we have Oh, it's going to look like the style we are trying to recreate okay so label curve and uh, curve and remember that you're going to be cutting on fold and now for the side panel okay so rule your slash lines one inch apart if you want less lines you can rule two inches or three inches apart you can do this however you want it's up to you but I'm doing one inch apart for this tutorial so rule all the way across to the waist okay so now slash all the way to the edge of the paper and try as much as possible to not cut through okay except if you want some excess at the sleeve and the side also next next slash your pattern and spread it you can spread straight on fabric but because because i'm not going to be cutting this pattern on fabric i'm just going to spread on paper for you to see and i also spread one inch apart and this is totally up to you you can depending on how gathered you want it to be how full you want the gathering to be so you can do an inch you can do two inches it depends on how much fabric you have and the look you're going for okay so because this paper is not like wide and long enough i'm just going to sp stop spreading somewhere around here and but i believe that by now you get the you get the gist so after spreading as desired you'll be cutting two pieces of this and gathering back to the length of the middle panel also go ahead and cut all your remain the remaining pieces okay so to cut the the skirt part you can use free hand but i prefer to use pattern for this style so i'll be using this old skirt pattern i hope you can see it clearly it's a long skirt that i have penciled and i have also cut out the dart at the side so looking at the style you can see that it's a midi skirt with flare okay and it also has a bit of petal shaping in front so um you can draft your skirt pattern using any any method that you like i can make a video showing how i draft skirt patterns okay if you'd like to see that then please then drop a request in the comment section so get your skirt pattern and measure from the side to your midi length on the front and i'm using 40 inches here so rule across then mark the same length on the back pattern and rule across also after which you cut okay measure the length you want from the flay for the flay from the hem up on the on the front and back pattern also and rule so to create the the shaping in the middle of the center front go up by four to five inches from the knee line then with your curved ruler blend into 
your flay length as shown also go ahead to cut this piece out and leave the back straight since there's no shaping at the back at all the next thing to do is to tape the front and the back piece together with your paper tape then fold the paper over a couple of times to create some crease lines as i am doing right now so rule along these crease lines crease lines and also number each panel and then slash from the bottom all the way to the tip it should look like this after you've slashed it the flay in the style that we're trying to recreate is not so full so i'll just spread by two inches like two inches apart but if you want yours to be fuller you can spread a lot more maybe by like four to eight inches but for this style two to four inches is just fine please do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and drop all of your questions and requests in the comment section below in case you applied any of the methods i showed in this tutorial please let me know how that went thank you so much for your time please stay awesome come back for more and i'll see you in the next one